Hello, my name's Carl. I'm Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango, and this is another quick lunchtime mobile trip out. And today, um, at some high ground, not far from where I live, uh, the idea is going to get onto 20 meters with a mobile whip. But I've made some modifications to the car to try and get a better ground, which I'll show you that in a few minutes. Um, we've just had a storm hit the UK this weekend which brought lashings of wind and rain. The storm's gone now, so we've returned back to the normal British weather, which is uh, lashings of uh, wind and rain. I'm gonna put my coat on, take the camera out, show you the slight modification I've made to try and improve the antenna setup, and then we'll get the radio out and hopefully make some contacts on 20 meters and then uh, wrap up and then get home where it's a bit drier and a bit warmer. Right, pleasant, love the weather. So 20 meter whip on the back of the car. Um, very quickly show you this. So basically I've actually created, this is actually fastened to the metal really tightly with a clip on and I've run a counterpoise there as well. So the aim for that, I'm just get back in the car. Oh, so with the uh, the aim for that oh, still a bit steamed up. So the aim really is to uh, improve the ground on the uh, on the uh, the <coughs> the boots of the car. And um, this is this is a, I can't drill into this car, so I can't drill any make a better connection between the uh, the hatch, the boot, the boot door, and the rest of the car. Um, and I can't, you know, I can't really mess about with the car that much. So the aim is really just to see if I can improve things by actually attaching. It's a slightly random length of wire because uh, I initially I measured it for quarter wave and 20 meters, but because the car's already sort of potentially grounded to the boot, um, it's a bit random. Uh, so I can coil it up uh, and shorten it or lengthen it. Uh, depends on what sort of um, the SWR is quite low. When I measured it at home, it was quite low. It was about 1.1 uh, at about the mid part of the 20 20 meter band. So uh, the uh, you know the SWR is quite low. Uh, the truth will be when I start putting some power up through you know putting 25 30 watts into the antenna. See what comes back. I guess. The whole idea of trying to improve 20 metres on the car is so that I can just get out very quickly, put on the antenna, plug a radio in, play a bit of radio, tear it down and then get home or, you know, carry on with the day. With, with the day. Uh, so I'm hoping just by sharing some of the things that I'm doing here is going to help other people who want to just get out during their lunch breaks and just play a bit of radio. Right. Uh, that took about just over five minutes plug everything in uh, basically it's the uh, the icon ic7200 uh, i've got two couple of lipo batteries just plugged together in parallel uh, and then that's converted to a power pole um the I'm getting a bit of noise on did you can hear that um Obviously, I can I can filter it out, but I think there's a um, there's a van next to me with his engine running, obviously to keep his heater on, and I think that engine might be just creating a bit of noise. Uh, I'll be able to um, notch it out or something, but it's creating a fair bit of noise on the um, on the radio. So I'm just going to have a little scroll about. Scroll is, is that right, the right word to use? I'm going to have a little. Firk about with the radio. No, it's not right either. Uh, I'm just going to have a little dial about on the radio, see what's happening. Radio Oscar, IK4 GRO, North America. Right. Okay, the station portable whiskey four. The station portable whiskey four. Your call. <laughs> Uh, there's um, one or two stations calling the DX. Um, a little bit of noise on the uh, on uh, on the band. Um, I 
I've heard a couple of US stations in, but very faintly at the moment. It might be that as the propagation sh shifts, we may get that a bit stronger. Uh, I think it's just a case of waiting those ones out a bit. Um, I'm just doing a search and pounce, see if I can um, pick a, pick off any uh, low hanging fruit. Um, just try and get a couple of contacts in, but uh, nothing yet. Uh, I've got a cup of tea anyway, so I'll get a brew and then uh, I'll see if you can find anything to uh, get on film. Right, I've just had to uh, oh, just had to dash out because the antenna just wasn't resonant at all. I am um, at home; it was much better tuned in, but. Um, anyway, it's tuned in now, it, the SWR is really low on the portion where most of the activity is. So hopefully, um, as you can see, it, well, as you can't see, uh, it's snowing out there. Um, so when you get out, it whips in your face. Um, so you have to sort of dash out, to fix any antenna malarkey and then uh, jump back in the car. So it, let's see if we can get anything now on the uh, on the radio. Um, I I have got a replacement microphone for this. I was very kindly donated one uh, by uh, G8SAR, but uh, I followed the wiring diagram. But the wiring inside the Icon microphone, I've got a more rugged Icon microphone that's been given, um, but the wiring doesn't correspond to any information online. There's actually uh, a bit of a mystery that I need to solve. But once I've got that mystery solved, I'll be replacing this microphone with something a bit more uh, rugged, a bit more um, professional. Anyway, I'll go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, Will, anything, anything else you want to impart to Neville there? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the signal's holding up very good. Still, uh, about the knock the power off, but it could have done a lot, a lot of damage. The US stations are actually booming in now. Uh, anything from like 5152 to uh, 59 plus 10 dB. Uh, I made some alterations to the antenna outside. Um, Notice the SWR was uh, low but really too low down on the band. So the antenna was actually too long. So I've shortened the antenna a little bit, moved the SWR up the band, and it's more resonant. And it sort of coincide, coincided with there's much more activity now on the radio. Echo Alpha 3, Hotel Uniform Yankee. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Echo Alpha 3, Hotel Uniform Yankee. Calling and listening. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Uh, two Echo Zero, Two Echo Zero. Uh, two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Mobile. No, very difficult. Two Echo Zero, something mobile. I will turn the antenna one moment in your direction. Hotel Uniform Yankee. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it's two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Echo Zulu Tango QSL. Okay, two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango. The antenna will be wow. now in your direction. Yeah, five nine plus. Echo Alpha Three Hotel Uniform Yankee. My name is Albert, and Albert. I'm QTH near Barcelona. Microphone back to you. Yeah, thank you very much there, Albert. The name here is Carl, Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Lima. I'm a mobile station using about 35 watts, 35 watts into a, a whip antenna uh, in the central part of the UK, halfway between Manchester and Birmingham, uh, mobile on 35 watts. Uh, the weather is, it's snowing here in the UK, very snowy and uh, very cold. Uh, microphone back to you. He's got it. Okay, uh, two Echo Zero, Echo Sulu Tango. This is Echo Alpha Three Hotel Uniform Yankee returning. Okay, Carl, one hundred percent copy right now. You came up to uh, to uh, four and five. Oh, you're giving signal points. Uh, yeah, it was uh, between three, four, and five. Uh, you are mobile with thirty-five watts. I'm. Uh, Running also um, at the moment only 70 watts, 70 watts into a two-element beam in new direction from the uh, ICOM uh, 7300. Two Echo Zero, Echo Sulu Tango, Echo Alpha Three Hotel. <laughs> also not normal. I'm 60 kilometers north from Barcelona at the mountain of Montserrat, and nice. normally it's not. Uh, it's called. Is that Fred Mercury? Uh, it's really, it's like spring, spring weather. Oh, here, um, Carl, uh, one question. Uh, can you let me know uh, if the audio, my audio, is okay for uh, for you? Uh, yeah, Roger. Yeah, uh, two e zero ez two returning. The audio is absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'm using a ICOM IC seven two hundred, which has got a great receiver on it. It's a fantastic radio with a fantastic receiver, and your audio is lovely, lovely balanced audio. So, absolutely no problem there. Uh, back to you. Okay, okay. I I, I normally use my old Kenwood TS nine forty. And, uh, I okay, check this out. This is this is very interesting, very annoying, very interesting. This noise is um, all the way across the board. The whole of the band is wiped out. Uh, even on the band that the uh, antenna is not resonant for is gone. Um, there, there are a couple. There are a few cars. You can't see them. Um, put that on there. There's some cars uh, about 20 meters away from here uh, and vans. There's a van with the engine running. So I'm, and I'm wondering whether it's the engine running with a heater on of another van across the way that's completely obliterating that. I mean that is it's gone. HF is gone. Um, so, I mean, it's good timing anyway. It's, uh, I need to get back to work. But I've, I've been here now uh, just over 40 odd minutes. Um, I've managed to make a contact, um, managed to tune the antenna in, um, the, the bit of um, ground radial. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to know how much it, that is working or not. Um, but in 40 minutes I can get a radio plugged in, get the antenna screwed into the um, the, the mount um, and at least make one contact, a couple of contacts, which is not bad really for a, and the whole idea is to be able to very quickly set up, play radio, pack it back down and then get on with the day. So that that's worked. Right, I'm going to dash outside now, uh, take down the antenna, um, wind up the um the ground the the, the counterpoise um and then time to go home i hope you found the video was useful uh, please any comments uh, any thoughts uh, please share them give me a thumbs up uh, if you can um and if you're not yet subscribed 
please subscribe it's really useful it, it helps me to develop the channel and i look forward to the next video so uh, bye bye for now